Hello, hello, YouTube. It's me again, Stephanie, with Tent Tarot. So, we're out here. About to do a reading for the sign of Libra. For the sign of Libra. We're asking and want to know what does Libra need to know for their highest good. <laughs> what does Libra need to know for their highest good in the month of August? Please, Spirit, what does Leo, I mean, sorry, what does Libra need to know for their highest good here in the month of August? So we're, we're starting out the reading with the star card, hope and guidance, hope and guidance, balance, hope and guidance, maybe an emotional area, taking matters into your own hands, going after what you want, but also having patience as spirit is in the background. So there's something that you want to do, but Spirit is saying just, just calm down, chill out, wait, wait a minute. We're we're um we're cooking up something over here for you, the Ace of Cups, okay? Ace of Cups, unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Ha, the world. Okay. Libra, Libra. Strategy. Could be deception. Could be self-deception with the Seven of Swords here. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Hermit. So, maybe it seems like something heavy has happened. Something heavy has happened with you, um, Libra. But Spirit is saying, just chill out. Let let us let us handle things. Let us handle things. So it could be an, a, a heartbreak. Maybe someone lied on you or lied to you. Mm, look at the three of swords. But don't you worry, Libra. Spirit loves you, honey. And they have you in the palm of their hands. Okay? So you don't have to be bogged down with anxiety and all of this. All of that stuff. Your strategy... The Seven of Swords, your strategy is to, to, to surrender. To surrender to spirit. You know you want to take matters into your own hand and maybe get revenge or, you know, maybe want to tell this person off. But don't waste your energy. Just go within, meditate, you know, make sure you learn the lesson that is, you know, that this maybe soulmate, karmic uh, relationship had to teach you but you know that it was all for your highest good you know all for your uh -huh. highest good to get you to the next level of course with the, the world card here to help you to get control of your feelings you know to maybe be more smart and intellectual in your relationships and not be so-so in your feelings to find a balance between the two I know this this heartbreak maybe have you feeling like the world is over like you can't go on you can't don't be so dramatic don't be so dramatic 
It's okay. Let go of your grip. Release your attachment to the outcomes. Release your attachment to the outcome and just allow spirit to do what it does best. But you do need to get control over your emotions. We got the magician card here. Don't don't be manipulative. Use your manifesting powers for good. There is a... And maybe, you know, focus on work. While you're allowing spirit to... Handle things in the background. You focus on work. Focus on the things that are important to you. There's a, you know, a new love, a new um, maybe work venture or idea that you have. Focus your attentions, your energies, and all of that there during this time. Yes, the Palace of Wands. The Palace of Wands is where all your dreams and your goals, your ambitions, all of that is brewed and gestated and brought to life. And then we have the Three of Cups, Harmony and Union. gave me two <laughs> but focusing on work will give you the strength to overcome the negative thoughts in your head about this heartbreak or to keep you from dwelling on the heartbreak just focus on work right now you know focus on your passions I don't know how this is going to come up in there Focus on your passions with willpower and determination. And you will receive harmony to overcome, like I said, the internal anguish that you're having. You know, page of coins, the new passion, moving forward and with willpower and determination towards it. Just stating and, and planning out how you want things to go, setting your intentions. That's going to bring you happiness, happiness and harmony in this time of, in this time that requires a lot of strength because your heart has been broken or you've experienced some kind of pain in regards to, you know, a lover situation where you had a lot of love, a really, really, really deep love for someone and they broke your heart. You know, maybe had said some harsh words or deceived you in some type of way. But just go within. Meditate. You know, get guidance, hope and guidance from spirit. With, you know, which way you're supposed to go. But also just releasing, releasing it to spirit. Because they're, they're, they're cooking up something for you. They love you greatly, greatly. You know, and your ascension and your graduation, the, the ending of the cycle is nigh. So, in the meantime, just work on you, work on passion that you have, you know, because that's on the bottom of the deck. You'll become a king in that passion, you will receive justice for. 
the heartache and the heartbreak that you've encountered. You will receive balance and clarity of thought. Clarity with the Ace of Swords here. Just do the work. Do the work. And it will be on display. And that's probably why you're going to get the justice. Because that person who broke your heart, they're going to see you. They're going to see you. Bossing up with this, with the uh, gift from spirit, because you've gotten clear that they wasn't shit, and that they can go on about their own goddamn business. Because, honey, you moving towards your king of your your ten of coins. Okay, you're moving towards generational wealth, and you're ready to give your heart over to someone new, someone better. Because you've been through a lot with this person. You've been through a lot just in general. And it's time for you to, to to drop your guard down. Like this this guy here, he's taking off some of his armor, but he hadn't taken all of it off. But you're ready to take off your armor. You're ready to stop, to not be fighting anymore. You are still standing strong, though. Even though you have some bumps, bumps and bruises, you're still standing strong. And you're gonna you're good. Just look, don't be tainted by the past, you know look at your passions with the new uh with the innocence of a child and you will get the happiness that you want you will receive the happiness that you long for with the ten of cups all right all right all right all right libra that's your reading hope you enjoyed and uh i will see you next time Peace out.